her. She needs to see what she's doing. Uh -huh. Oh my God. So my grandpa got a half feral cat. The reason I know it's half feral is they have like a mother, but then he's also orange. So I ended up having to go to the hospital for a while, you know, going to a nursing home. And there was no one else living with him at the time. So we had to get the cat out of there. And he's half feral, he's been alone for a while, so he's not very friendly. We hunted like the whole house for him and he ended up being in the basement. We found him inside of a bookcase. So that was half the battle. Then we had to get him out of the bookcase into a carrier, which is not very easy when the cat absolutely refuses to go. So I lean against him, against the bookcase. And then he really starts spazzing out limbs everywhere. That really pissed him off and set off his survival instinct. And so he crawls on top of my head, Ben, and stretches as hard as he can with like all four limbs. Cut as much as possible. He was kicking my face too a little bit, which is how I got these two scars. He kicked my glasses off. If I hadn't had my glasses on, he might have cut my eyeball or something. Now, I didn't feel the pain at first. You know, I just felt out of it. And the blood came down from my head and went all over my eyeball. And right there, I was just... <sighs> so then I had to go to the hospital because, you know, my arms were shaking for like 10 minutes afterwards. Even after rinsing off the blood, it was still bleeding. I got the staples in my head, they rinsed it out and everything, gave me some antibiotics, and then I was kind of out of it for the rest of the day because, you know, of the blood loss and whatnot. I wouldn't touch any random cat I see in the streets because they can be vicious bastards. Well, if a cat's hissing at you, I mean, they look cute, but don't mess with an angry cat because they can actually mess you up. We ended up getting the cat after trashing it without any injury. So now he's at my grandma's house. He picks on the other cats, so he basically has like an entire floor to himself of the three floor house, but he's mildly friendly to my grandma and my uncle. He runs away from me when I see him. It doesn't help I'm like, round two cat. 